Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do another finale. We have been doing it for more than a year and I'm just realizing that it's just too long to do it more than a year for a project. I'm just, I'm not motivated to keep going and the progress is not there and I'm only working on hard items and I don't feel like it's fun anymore. Even though I have been loving this project because it is the mission 100 percent cruelty free project pan that started my journey to officially go cruelty free with my collection and i'm doing pretty good i am i need to do an update on how my uh, collection is looking like uh, for the non cruelty free products so i'm going to do that soon ish <laughs> so uh, look out for that video is if you if you like those kind of things. I don't have any empties for this update, but I do have some nice progress. And I'm okay excited about sharing it with you guys. This project is created by Sarah, if I didn't mention that in the beginning. And we are a bunch of ladies that are doing this on YouTube and Instagram. And we have a playlist and everything down below. So I will list that and the people. And you should check them out because they will keep on updating. I just won't. So I hope you want to stick around on my channel anyways okay let's do the palette or the blush first because i have the most progress on this one and this is the most exciting one so let me show you guys where i was last time with my benefit curlista blush and this is where i am now i'm really excited about this pen it is hard to pick up product on your brush at the moment so i'm soon going to repress this and maybe even franking it because you can get some product on your brush but when you apply it it is on yes but then if you start blending just a little bit it will disappear so that is why it's also really easy to go through because it's really powdery and the pigment is not really there and i'm mixing it with this anyways and another blush actually to just make that more pigmented as well so <laughs> mm. I'm going to franking that blush, but the progress is really nice and I wanted to show you guys that before I ended the project and franking the blush, but I'm going to do that soon. So let me know if you want a video on that and how I am doing that and everything in my thought process at least. So let me know if you want a video of that. Let me show you two products that I don't have really have progress on. I have used this maybe a couple of times since the last update, so there's not really progress to show you guys it is the wet and wild mega glow highlighting powder in crown of my canopy as you can see there's not that much progress or anything i use it as a blush topper because it is just a little bit too dark for me as a blush then we have the maybelline master brow uh, master brow pro palette in soft brown I am working on the powder here in the middle. I have used it uh, quite a bit, but I don't think you can see any progress. Maybe you can see some wear in the middle of the product, but that is kind of it. I have used it when I don't use my brow pencil, and that has been like half of the time. The last product that I'm working on is my Morphe palette. This is the 35K palette. And if I'm going to pan this, this will take me like three years because it took me uh, a year to hit uh, like 10 or 11 pans in my OM palette from Morphe to hit pan on those shadows. I haven't finished any at all. I just hit pan on them. So if it takes me so long to hit pan on a matte shadow from Morphe, I don't even want to think about how long it will take me to finish, finish the entire palette. And I have two of these. So I have decided just to have a goal for this palette to use every single shade once. No, I have not done that. <laughs> But for this update, I have used four shades. That's not, that's not a lot. Yeah. I am color coding my shadows in this palette so I can, I can be organized on what shades I have used for this uh, each update. I have been working on this for three updates, which will be two, four, six, six months. <laughs> Just. A little bit embarrassing because I I should have been able to use a single seed once at this point, right? Six months. That it just tells you how many projects and products products I'm working on. For the first update, that was all the red marks, and for last update, I used all the green marks. 
so that was those two months has been really good about how many shades I have using if you compare to this month because this month I have only used four shades once <laughs> I used this one this one this one and this one this one is rolled in last month in uh, the beginning of June into my whole collection for Japan I haven't used that shade a, a lot I think two times maybe <laughs> so not a lot and I can't even call these three rows done because I am missing to use three shades that one that one and that one but I have used these two darker purple shades which I find really good because it is the darker shades that I have the hardest time with these neutral browns are really easy but the darker ones not my cup of tea I actually have this one in my outer corner today <laughs> um this one out out here it's not very visible because i realized i didn't put it on before the eyeshadow so it's not really pigmented and i don't set my eyeshadow base and i use the darker shades before my lid shade and i forgot today so let me show you guys the last product which is my lipstick from maybelline it is the Gigi headed lipstick in Tara. This is a lipstick that I use uh, every single morning almost when I do my makeup and then I reapply throughout the day with something else. I do think I'm going to miss this lipstick because it's really nice. I'm just sad that I don't have more progress but I do have a new line so that is exciting but for two months it's not really good when you use it almost single day. But it's only one application and it's really creamy and it's really pigmented so you don't need a lot. So you can't swipe like three times to get it opaque. So I think that is maybe why as well. But yes, this is how much I have left of it. It is a beautiful nude color. Like really beautiful. I really love that lipstick. So maybe I will keep going. Maybe I will just not. I don't know. This is where I am at the moment. That last line right there. So I have some progress, but not amazing. I hope you guys have enjoyed this series. I have really been enjoying doing it. And I will keep going um, with my culture freeness and my culture food journey. But I'm just not going to update you guys about it in like a pretty pan. I still do, like I said in the beginning or... I don't know. Yeah, I think in the beginning I'm doing the non cruelty free products in my collection videos and I can update you guys there of how many percentage my cruelty free uh, collection is and stuff like that. Because I really want to go 100% cruelty free but it will take me forever and a day. I don't think this project is helping me anymore and I tend to put the non cruelty free products into project pants and not only this one yeah i'm repeating myself i will still update you guys on instagram on my cruelty free journey and i will still up uh, update you guys here i'm just not going to do this project anymore even though i have really been loving it so thank you so much sarah for letting me join and being a part of this project pen it has been so much fun i wish you all so much luck on going culture free in your collection or just working on the items i know it's really really hard and yeah for the entire project i haven't bought anything that is cool, uh, non culture free so that is definitely a step up i have replaced a lot of products with something that is culture free and um and i have found some new favorites um in those kind of categories so that is really exciting i hope you guys enjoy it and i will see you guys next time Bye-bye.